We've got the real reason why WWE have scrapped a bad blood match. WWE have crowned a new champion and a brand new Raw logo has leaked. Stay tuned for a little look at the juicy logo gossip news. So it is bad blood tonight. Quick, cheap plug. You can be with Adam Pacitti and Andrew straight oh, yeah. away at 10 p.m. right here. YouTube.com forward slash cultaholic forward Fine. slash live for the, for the reactions. It's actually open right now. You can go and leave a comment leave if you a want. Leave a comment in there leave right a now. comment. But yeah, it's bad Ooh. blood tonight. Uh, this has been an event that has been, uh, it's been a long time coming. I, I remember when they first marketed it, it felt like it was way, way, way early. For yeah. It, but it, it's in high demand. Uh, and the card was kind of fleshing out nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, but despite it being originally planned to take place on the Bad Blood card tonight, WWE have decided to scrap Gunter versus Sami Zayn in favor of it taking place on this week's Raw. Uh, now, as a per a report from the Wrestling Observer newsletter, WWE believed that the Bad Blood event didn't need the match and that it could be better used to boost Raw itself. Which I think is insane. You, you're, you're the pay-per-view premium live event, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't need the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I think that's that's crazy as a it sentence needs, it on needs, its own. It needs a well like a major like top level championship. Cha yeah. And I feel like you have to have the IC or the the US title. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. You need you need to have a top belt, a secondary belt, yeah. a set of tag belts. It feels like across, and like, that's the issue with the five pay per view match structure. And it, it just feels it's a little it. bit maybe we're just dinosaurs now. I don't know. Perhaps it does for sure make Raw a more exciting prospect. I was saying this to yeah. Aiden, our editor in chief at cultaholic.com, that uh, it does make me more inclined to tune into the weekly TV because I'm like, okay, there's a title match. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to see a title match. Could it change hands? Probably not this week. And that was a big factor of, uh, especially my childhood, was belts yeah. were always on the line on TV. So I, I get it. Yeah, maybe maybe I am just becoming a bit of a dinosaur. I mean, I can under I can understand both sides of the argument, but the report does say that the current entry price for Bad Blood... Right, the event is sold out, right? However, on the secondary market... It costs two hundred and twenty-five dollars to Somebody's get yourself into the building. Got to do something about this, man. Hey, if it's, you if you build it, they will come, and yeah, that is exactly what WWE you, if has you done. Buy ten of them, you can sell them for two hundred and twenty-five dollars a piece on Viagogo. They have built a very <laughs> good, yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's that's the saying. In <laughs> Field of dreams. Um, they've built a very good show, and people are coming. And that's what they well, want. This is it. Yeah, they want people to be there. They're putting on a hell of an event and it, everything seems to be coming up Millhouse across the board these days. Yeah, it really nice is. to see. And uh, now moving over to the other side of the fence, uh, a Wrestling Observer Newsletter report says that Shane McMahon is apparently not planned to be involved with the current Blackpool Combat Club storyline on AEW, with the report saying that backstage sources have revealed he isn't the destination for the story. Now, speculation has been rife since he was spotted having a meeting with Tony Khan. I mean, mm -hmm. spotted, it was definitely a picture taken. By Mercedes. Oh, 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 it was definitely, definitely there was a there was asked a, to take there a was, a, the there was a butt groove in the seat. It was taken that quickly, like next to Tony, <laughs> and the seat being pushed out, and Shane was like. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I think ever since then, and then at the same time, recently he was uh, he was on a flight with the Young Bucks. Yeah, he had uh, the, uh, we had some scoops we had on, some scoops on that one. Ooh. So he was on the same flight as the Young Bucks. But it, it, I think a lot of people were expecting that maybe this storyline would lead to a Shane McMahon appearance. I certainly think it would have been hilarious. Um, I don't want it to happen, so I I'm do. glad at this report. I do. <laughs> Let it all burn. Let's see what Let happens. Let have him have him make Not an come appearance. in as a GM or anything. Have him come in as the best rip wrestler. Off. On Earth. It was me, Brian. <laughs> just Shane's sweaty. Yeah, he doesn't need to rip it off. It'll just Whee! slide off. Just skimming about. Uh, well, keeping it with AEW here, Taz, of course, being written off TV with an injury angle. Uh, and, and everybody's kind of like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, but he's set to undergo double knee surgery, bless him. Uh, this mm -hmm. was first reported by the Wrestling Observer, uh, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Uh, and it's since been confirmed by the man himself as he wrote on Twitter, unfortunately, I will be out for a while. I'll be having total knee replacement surgery very soon. Talk to you guys down the road. I saw a tweet about this uh, last night before I went to bed and it was someone was saying that Taz is so hard mm. they have to have a storyline to write off a commentator <laughs> just so that he can get new knees 
in fairness, like, like this is going to sound like I'm, I'm being ageist or something. I'm not. Uh, but considering Taz has got to the age he's got to without mm -hmm. having to have this done with the schedule he was working, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the earlier phase of his career, he's insane. So props to him. And hopefully this is going to give him back a lot of his get, mobility, uh, right? Get some stem cell treatment. He's got 20 minutes with Beast Mortis. Plus, plus, exactly. If he's got bionic knees, he can be like Lex Luger's forearm, but with two uh, knees. Exactly. Or, and have the mobility of Rey Mysterio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, imagine Taz flying about the ring. I doubt we're going to see him get back in the ring and, and this is purely just him doing yeah. a surgery that will stop him being in as much pain as he's been in. And that's all you Great can want, see. right? Like, it's it's like, go on, go on. Yeah, go on, Hope Taz. It all goes Up well, the Taz. Taz. Up, sending our best Up to Taz. Taz. Uh, now, moving over to the WWE side of the fence there, Fraser. We've got some juicy news. We've been talking about Max and AEW. Yeah. Now, let's, let's hear all about Peacock and WWE. So, Peacock has confirmed that it has removed all episodes of NXT from the streaming service <gasps> this is due to the company no longer having the rights to stream it obviously <gasps> nxt has moved to the cw now and uh, they have the rights going forward <laughs> thank you for the sound effects just letting people know how they should feel uh, about okay. it okay yeah it's, it's helpful um, I, you know it's one of those things where there might be a few people waking up and going eh, uh, yeah. like when they're seeing it but yeah with with the rights handover it'll be popping up wherever cw is whoever yeah. owns cw if they have their own app is it like so they've, they've got their the own deal? they've got their own app they've said at this current point in time it's a bit uncertain about the everything that's happened previously in NXT. So, like, everything up until this week's episode mm. uh, was on Peacock. It has now been removed. The CW is saying that they will only host episodes of NXT going forward that appeared on the CW. That's a lot of data to store, and that's a lot of bandwidth you're going to need in order to uh, yeah. in order to have all of that. So, but it's, at the same time, you can't just take it down. It's so got to be somewhere. It's currently somewhere it's not hosted on or available to the public I'll anywhere tell you where it is but it'll be somewhere it's on it's it's on network.wwe.com if you live in the uk in the uk we oh, we're so blessed we're over so here blessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well we've also got some big news coming out of last night's smackdown here with wwe crowning the inaugural women's wwe speed champion uh now there are going to be some spoilers here so skip ahead spoiler warning skip ahead to wherever the thing says yeah skip, yep. three two go on one okay right Candice LeRae was able to beat Io Sky in the final of the tournament to be crowned the inaugural WWE Speed Women's Championship. It was not revealed when the match will air on social media yeah. yet, but you've got to think they're going to make a huge song and dance about it. They do all the time with Speed. With it's, Speed. It's the number one show in yeah. WWE programming. WWE Speed. It's, it's cool so to see Candice. It's yeah. so convenient to just be like, oh, I'm on Twitter. I'm having a bad time as always. And yeah. then, oh, there's wrestling. Click. Three minutes. Yeah. Done. And I, you know, when they first said I was going to be three minute matches, I was like, uh, hey, but know. at the same time, it's just, it's three minutes it's, is it's a, a long breeze. time. You can watch people. it on the bus. You can, yeah. It's TikToks. We've, our span of attention has gone way down. Feature films are going to be about a minute and a half in about 10 years time. Incredible. It might be better than quality than some of them in the cinema at the moment. Moving over to uh, the WWE 2K4 side of the fence here as well. There was another teaser played during SmackDown last night to complement the MCMG teaser, if they are indeed the MCMG and the Brazilian team weren't just swerving everybody. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's a brand new Bray Wyatt focused DLC for 2K24 uh, with the Fiend Bray Wyatt, uh, sorry, while the Fiend and Bray Wyatt are both included in the base game of 2K24 this is a new look fiend it uh, looks to have a completely brand new design yeah. and it's going to launch on October 16th he's got like a face on the back of his yeah, face yeah and it's like he's more and ripped it's the, open it's like the more it's like the more up to date like you know the, the kind of the more modern yeah. uh, fiend mask that I don't think we ever saw we never it saw it so I think it's like that uh, but the, the 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 lantern is like the old fiend mm. head and it, it looks really cool it looks really cool but there is no update on one how much the DLC will cost if there's anything else coming if with it if it's free if there's other stuff coming with it, it we just know that it is releasing on October 16th and that's about it uh, I hope we'll get more details soon because I mean it's not included in the season pass it's, it's not exactly that far away so you've got to think that there's going to be some form of press release break yeah. to, 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 on their website or something uh, but we are going to round things out with, with the news you've all been waiting oh, yeah. for the juicy juicy gossip about a potential new logo for WWE Raw now Smackdown's had a lovely update they had a they, Smackdown Smackdown, Smackdown Smack, Subway <laughs> Subway sandwich quite down. Subway reminiscent uh, yeah 
does. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, I, you know, I, I'm a big fan of the, the old traditional square. You know, yeah. You know, it was my era. Oh, the, it was the, good. The it's a great block. logo. Yeah, for uh, sure. So I, I quite like when SmackDown is like stacked like that. Uh, I've never really been too much of a fan of the more recent Raw ones because it's just, I mean, how it's do you make raw, one word look good, raw. right? Uh, but... A brand new logo for Raw has leaked via some action figures. Yeah. Uh, featured on the box is the Netflix logo above the new design, which looks reminiscent of the 2016 Raw logo, yeah. but in white rather than in red. And there's red bars accenting the logo kind yeah, of on an offset. Yeah, it's kind of like an offset, and it's it. on a slight um, angle. If you look at the picture... Well, yeah, you'll we'll, see yeah, it right there, behind it, we'll fill the screen with it. What do you think? It was good. It. Yeah. I think it looks uh, all right. So I, I think it, it's clean. It's yeah. very clean, yeah. and I like that. It's simple, it's straightforward. I... Uh, yeah, I mean, what else can you say about it? Do you like it? What do you think about the new Raw logo? Let us know in the comments below. I think it's interesting, though, because part of the logo on the box does have Netflix very heavily this is, featured. This is the thing, though, as well. Is I don't. I thought they would have put Netflix like in line with the logo. This is. It's just like kind of an just arc above it. of Netflix, yeah. like that. And, and I then, wonder if the raw logo that I wonder if the logo having Netflix on top is included in the raw logo. If that will appear like on the I YouTube hope it's in the just corner, that awkwardly placed. But yeah, like that. No. very awkward. <laughs> Graphic design is their passion. I just don't understand. It was designed by the guy who made the Apple logo. Imagine. <laughs> uh, but yes, that is it for your second dose of lovely bumper weekend wrestling news. Remind the people what's happening tonight, Fraser. It's Bad Blood, and you can tune in at 10 p.m. with Adam, Andrew. They will have live reactions here, youtube.com forward slash cuthub forward slash live. They will be here all night watching the Hell in a Cell match, watching the tag team match, watching the Shark Cage match. Oh, There's a lot going cage. on. There's a lot actually happening on Bad Blood. I'm very, very excited. But then after that, we'll have what happened at. We'll also have some wrestling news. And, of course, WTF moments will be on the channel at some point soon. It's a big night of wrestling. It is. It's a hell of a night of wrestling. It's been an event that's been a long time coming, been teased for a long time, and fingers crossed, it's going to be one to remember. One very brief shout out, check out Pitches, because the thumbnail on that Pitches this week is maybe the greatest <laughs> thumbnail we have ever done. Uh, pitches for Bad Blood on the channel now and the podcast as well. Oh my God, that, that thumbnail. If there's any more news that breaks throughout the day, we may be back with more, but if not, we will catch you all in a bit. <laughs>